Guest Chef is sponsored by Acorn Grill. Welcome back, everyone. It's Wonderful Wednesday. Ooh, that's, I love that. And that means Blair is here from the Acorn Grill. And today we are drinking. No, we're not. No, really. just kidding. Just kidding. We're not. You can if you want to. I mean. We can break open a little maker's mark. We're using the bourbon to make your famous bourbon glaze, bourbon sauce. Yes. It is a staple at your restaurant. It is. Right? It's served on pork chops, chicken, our big whiskey burger has it on there. Mm. Yes. Good stuff. It's a little sweet and tangy, huh? It is. It does have a bit of a tang to it. Oh, I love it. I, I mean, I just want to take a shot, but I won't. <laughs> This is afternoon television. Okay, so question for you. When it comes to uh, making a recipe like this, are there any key things that you need to know as far as making the glaze or the sauce? Well, you have to have the whiskey, obviously, sure. because it's a whiskey sauce. Uh, you just want to make sure that it's thick enough that it will adhere to the protein. Got it. So. Now, do you have to have this version of the whiskey or you can just use be any whatever kind, you have You at can home? use any kind of bourbon. It any bourbon you choose? Yes, mm -hmm. any bourbon. Do you know, here's a random fact for you guys. I just want to share this with you. Did you know that Kentucky produces more of the world's bourbon than any place You're else? You're lying. But here's the interesting thing. Milk is the state drink. Are you that, serious? But milk is the no sense. That makes no sense to me either. I just wanted to share that with you as useless trivia. Nothing is useless you about know. our Wednesdays, though, so let's get started <laughs> on the recipe. What else goes into it besides the important whiskey? Well, the important whiskey, of course. And then you have one cup of ketchup. Mm -hmm. We already have a tablespoon of lemon juice and a half tablespoon of minced garlic mm -hmm. in there. Okay. You have a half cup of brown sugar, a fourth cup of white vinegar, and the I never get this word right. We don't I mean, how do you that guys say sauce. it? Wor Two Wor tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, Worcestershire sauce. Okay. It's one of those ones that my grandma used to keep in the kitchen and we just never said. You just knew. Yeah. They're just words you don't say in the kitchen and that's it's one, one of, of them. them. <laughs> it's the W sauce. <laughs> the W sauce. It's a pinch of salt. Okay. And what? ground mustard. Oh. You have a little bit of ground mustard in there. Just a pinch. Okay. And then you just add some black pepper for seasoning. Mm. Now you said bringing it to a boil and thickening is important. You do. You have to bring it to a boil. You want to make sure that it's brought to a boil completely because that's what helps thicken it up and mm -hmm. it reduces the alcohol. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because the alcohol will be cooked out of it. So okay. you don't have to worry about your children getting drunk off our whiskey sauce because the alcohol <laughs> does get cooked out. Come on over to a barbecue on Good Day Live. We'll have you sauce. Bring the kids. They'll be asleep by five. No, I'm just teasing. Um, but in all honesty, the great thing about this sauce is that you just, you called it the protein. But it, but what you're saying is any, you can serve it with chicken. You can serve it with pork chops. I mean, I'm guessing this would even be good on shrimp. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. Oh, oh man. Good stuff. So, um, once it's thickened, once you're serving it up, what does it taste best with vegetable-wise? Just out of curiosity. Yeah. Because I'm one of those mashed potato kind of girls that likes to dip my sauce in yes. my taters. Yes. But what do you People put it on baked potatoes. They mm -hmm. substitute it that and put it on good. baked potatoes. Yeah. It, I mean, go in, it would actually go really good on broccoli, too. Ooh. Can you make it and, and freeze it or hold it or keep it so that you could have it for another meal, like in a week? Is that okay to oh, do? Oh, the sauce? Yeah. Yeah, we have it already packaged <gasps> up. It does need to be refrigerated. Okay. But That's yeah, beautiful. it'll stay good for up to probably about a month, I'd and say. And people can go out, come to the restaurant and get this? Yes. Get out of here. Yeah, we are going to be bottling and selling it. Oh, oh wow. Brilliant That's move. genius. You can make it at home. Or you, you can go. buy it. <laughs> so how are things going at the restaurant? I mean, things are great. Business has really picked up. Yeah. It's going really great. I feel like you guys are really offering something amazing for the Sullivan community, but for surrounding communities as well, which is a, a wonderful restaurant serving homemade food. You guys make everything there. We do. Everything is made in-house by yeah. sc from scratch. Mm -hmm. We Sometimes have people that travel you. from Illinois. Oh, well, I do a lot of the cooking. <laughs> yeah, I know. You do a great job. <laughs> Thank you. Um, do you feel like having been now part of our family on Wednesdays that like the people are like, oh my gosh, Blair? I know you. I you're, know yeah. you. you're part of the Good Day Live family. I have actually had a couple of people Good. recognize me out at Walmart. I was telling Hazel Marie I about it. it. Like, I have to look presentable everywhere I go now. Welcome to the Welcome. world of television. You Welcome. have to be on your best behavior. Yes, so definitely. Don't, don't drink the whiskey and then go I out anymore. I guess not. I can't drink because I'm driving. <laughs> Good call. Good call. Well, if folks are interested in this recipe, yes. of course, we will have it available on our website. Yes. And if you're interested in going to visit the Acorn Grill, you can do that. They're located in Sullivan at the address you see there on your screen. Stop by and visit them. Log on anytime. Call ahead if you're interested in finding out what anything special is. Yeah. It's, it's 
it's certainly a place that you want to visit. I the, mean, the Acorn Grill in so Florida. good. It so smells good. good. It smells delicious. <laughs> All righty. When we come back, we've got plenty more on today's show. So don't go away.